All right, going back into the Nightmare Zone, episode 78. Yep, almost to 80 episodes, man. A lot of episodes. I, I did, I, it's not that long ago that I said it, but the more I think about it, the closer we are to 100 episodes. Man, that's, that's a lot of episodes, not even including the first four seasons. Seasons one, two, three, four... Season one was like 19 episodes as well. And each one was... Uh, the fourth season wasn't as fast as the others, but that's because I was intentionally taking my time. But, yeah, I mean, we're over 100 episodes if we count the other seasons, but we're approaching 100 episodes just in the endless season on its own. So what are we going to do in this episode? I'm not entirely sure... I believe we've gotten a lot of our chores done, so I might go mess around and try some things. Huh. I might attempt the sh let's see what time of the day it is. I might attempt the shootout with the hostile enclave. Someone wanted me to basically fight a hostile enclave with- okay, it's nighttime. We're not going to do that. That's dangerous. So, I guess what we're going to do is kill some plague hearts with melee weapons. And the reason for this is because I kind of want to figure out what is the best melee weapon for killing a plague heart. I've got an idea. But I, I want to see it myself. Because uh, what we, we got two challenges that I'm thinking about, like how I want to try and tackle them. One of them is basically to have a shootout with a hostile enclave with basically the devil at SP1. I don't think I have that pistol. But we'll, we'll use the backup bossy. The backup bossy is very close to the devil at SP1. The 9mm round's only slightly more powerful. The, the main reason, though, is because... I think he wants me to use a pistol that is really noisy. One that can't be silenced. And also one that doesn't necessarily have a lot of power, that doesn't pack a huge punch. And because the other issue is that I can't use scent block. Go ahead and get this gun reloaded. All right, so what blunt weapons do I want to try out? So we're going to go by stats. Let's just grab a few. Transmission maze. Let's just grab a few of these maces to see what's the best. Put this away. So which of these, I'll, I'll, which one has the highest impact? This one has... Knockdown, impact, so this one has the highest impact. Let's see if we can find something that beats it in impact. Bell Club. Does anything beat the Bell Club? Although the Bell Club would be... Well, we're going to be out of stamina during the challenge, so maybe that's not going to matter. So what we're going to do is, I want to see how the Bell Club performs, and I also want to see how the Crow's Beak performs, honestly, just because it has, like, how is that high lethality going to impact it? Go get our stims out. We got a bunch of stims as a result of clearing out some of those play guards, anyways. Scent block. And... Do I need a regular guard? I'll bring the Eternal Guard. Where is it? Someone else must be using it. Um, we'll just use one of the Preppers AKs then. 
It's like the, uh, the baby. Well, we don't even need to bring ammo. I mean, 76 rounds, that's more than enough ammo. Like, the Prepper's AK-47 is like the baby Eternal Guard. Okay, we've got Bell Club. Like, look how fast you run out of stamina on this weapon. Need a break. Stamina consumption is pretty extreme. I almost forgot where the car was. Actually, I did forget where the car was. That's why I was checking. I'm not used to this base. Okay, we need gasoline. Not a surprise. We always need gasoline. Let's pull two in since we're going to consume one. Interesting. This is usually the daytime music, but it's playing at night. Yeah, you can. I've heard it play at night before, but typically this theme song is associated with the morning. We got a uh, Plague of Right in the Tartan Mart, which is fine. Basically, what I'm wondering is... I know how melee stats basically work for... ...dealing with zombies. But I'm not really sure how they work. Ah, nice, we got them. Okay, now where's that okay scent block guy? on. The thing, so I don't know how melee combat works against play guards. Like, which of the melee stats is factored as damage? Let's see. This will take forever. I need a better plan. Let's see how effective it is to beat the crap out of this thing with the bell club. Kind of disappointing with the, uh... Well, that's not true. Okay, I think it's on the ropes. We do seem to actually be doing pretty severe damage to it. Ah, uh, I got too close. Getting greedy, trying to... Wow, the gas is still there. Okay, so that was pretty, pretty efficient. Beat the crap out of this guy. Damn, how many hits is he gonna take? That was weird, he didn't even get st I mean, maybe I stunned him and I didn't notice it. But I was kind of, I was kind of expecting... Hunter's Viper, we'll take that. Leave me alone, jeez. Oh, we're out of we're out of our uh, stims, so now suddenly this weapon is terrible. Once you don't, what? Once you have to use this without. Stims, this weapon is awful. Due to the incredible stamina consumption on the weapon. We switch to the crow's beak. Something with a little less stamina consumption. Maybe it doesn't matter that we're out of stamina since we got the scent block going. Since they're not like actively trying to kill us. They're they're only they're passively trying to kill us. Ugh.
Oh, they're interrupting me because I can't dodge. Interesting that none of them are trying to take advantage of me with uh, with a bite. That would you'd think that'd be the smart move. I wasn't really. I'm not too concerned with taking all this damage since we're gonna need to heal him anyways. Since he has an injury. Take these. I guess that. So, I was pretty satisfied with the performance of the Bell Club. That that weapon seemed to go through the play guard pretty effectively, so I wonder if... Go back and heal, and then we'll go try the Crow's Beak on a play guard. So I'm, I'm wondering if Impact is the main stat for defeating a play guard. I wonder if that's the stat that has the biggest damage dealt to it. Because normally bladed weapons, even even that heavy duty axe, the high angle axe, it, it took way more effort to bring down the play guard with the axe than that bell club. The bell club went through it pretty efficiently. So but the point is that the bell club is a candidate for our attempt to kill the... Okay, we, we need to transfer this over. The, uh, the Bell Club is a, uh, candidate. So let's go ahead and heal up. And let's also put the Bell Club back, because we don't need to use the Bell Club now. And I guess we can throw all this back while we're at it. The Bell Club took a pounding from that, though, I will say that. Grab another stimulant while we're here. And we should also cure our infection level. Oh yeah, I should talk about video progress. So, I have laid down the video footage for most of the Echo series review. The part that's missing now is the tier list, which is basically kind of a... Uh, it's, I mean, obviously it's a tier list, but it's also kind of the wrap-up and conclusion. That part actually takes a large portion of the video up. After reviewing all six of the weapons, we're basically at, like, 38 minutes of video footage laid down out of the, like, either 48, I think, like, 48, 52 minutes, something like that. So that means the, uh, the tier list section actually took up quite a bit of time. But yeah, we are making a... we're definitely making progress on it. And I think the tier list should be pretty easy, at least for laying the video footage down, because it's mainly good. The real thing is going to be done in the special effects area, like making the, making the various items appear on the tier list. That's going to be done in Adobe After Effects rather than in Premiere Pro. Okay, scent block on... Where is the heart? Okay, here we go. Let's try the crow's beak. Out of my way. Already seems to be less effective. I feel like we're taking way more swings to get the same effect. Go on to the other side of the play guard and make the zombies search for me a little bit. Okay, I think it's on the ropes. Yeah, this definitely doesn't seem to be quite as good as the bell club, so I'm thinking that. Oh, I just did it again. I started breathing in the poison gas.
If you're wondering how I know to swat behind me, I, I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just, like, assuming that it's probably about time for them to make an attack on me. Almost out. Where's that feral at? Let's go beat the crap out of him. There he is. Come here. He escaped? Oh, there's multiple ferals here. And we're out of, uh... So that's one of the keys to fighting ferals in melee combat is, um... When they dodge you and counterattack, the attack they use needs to be dodged twice in a row. Like, they basically make a, a combo sweep on you, a combo swipe, and you need to dodge the swipe back to back. If you only dodge it once, he will swing through you and he'll hit you the second time. So that's one of the things to always do is you hit the feral and once he dodges to escape your combo, you need to dodge two attacks in a row, then you're allowed to counterattack and you can continue fighting him as usual. So, I think we could say without a doubt that the, uh, the Crow's Beak wasn't nearly as effective at killing the Plague Art. Like, it was just, it was pretty noticeable. Like, I, I don't even need to review the footage, I could just feel it. So that means that lethality Dismemberment, those probably are much less of a factor in doing damage to a Plague Art in melee combat than either Knockdown or Impact. I want to go back though and see the transmission, um, or the, the Bell Club and see, was it more of an Impact weapon or was it more of a... Oh, we got zombies too, that's convenient. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and put this in. Back. We'll probably change characters. Okay, people. Time to fight. Seems like a big ball of zombies, like right over there. Oh, it's a, it's a full size uh, play guard there. So they're they're gonna hear the combat, without a doubt. So let's go ahead and get our BFG out. Also, I want to heal since I'm going to be in heavy combat. I'm going to try to repair as well. Good. Here the crackle of our BFGs getting them. Did that count? Yes, it did. Even though it interrupted our animation. Get him. Get him. Yeah! Oh, man. Good accuracy for a change. Sometimes you get lucky, I guess. Grab these uh, samples. Depending on the stage of the game you're at, Sometimes it actually can be a good thing to have these periodic zombie attacks with the the juggernauts considering that one, they're worth a lot of influence and two, they give you a decent number of samples. You mess with the best. You die like the rest. I haven't heard that saying in a long time. Well, we just healed Lattice Laz, so let's continue using him. Okay, so... What if we attempt the shootout with these guys, which is... This is a really a bad idea. I wanna, I wanna point that out, that this is highly inadvisable. Put this guy on guard duty. We're gonna send somebody expendable out. Because as I said, this is, uh... 
This is not a Get Good Fox approved strategy. So we're going to send out probably Serafina because she's on the on the list of characters that would be getting kicked out anyways. I don't know what you're talking about. All of our all of our items are below 25. We should not need any storage. Okay, so the challenge is to kill a enclave with a really crappy weapon that can't be silenced. Uh, they, he didn't say I couldn't put a break on it though, so I'm going to put a professional break on it. As you can see, the mod is not applicable. Yeah, look at that. The same damage, basically, as the professional break. That takes it to a nearly maximum power. And even if we were using the, uh, the Devil at SP-22, it would still be pretty similar damage. What do we have here? Let's equip the handgun mod. Magnum. Okay, there it is. Handguns. Okay, so I'm not allowed to use scent block. I'm going to stock up on some healing items. That's one thing. I'm, I'm not allowed to use zombate. Um, what's this? I, I can use distractions, though. Firecrackers are really not that loud. I got it. Okay, so I do so I'm not allowed to use zombie, but I do want to get we could use some of these. Let's use the uh XL firework shell. This is the this is the next loudest thing that I can think of. Where are they? That I can throw, at least. Where where are my shells at? Oh, here they are. Hey, that should be more than enough. Let's stock up on a ton of healing items. I would need a ton of med kits, I have a feeling. Because I'm probably going to get some pretty serious injury debuffs. Okay. Let's double up our healing, regular healing supplies. And I'll bring another one of these. And I want to bring a ton of ammo as well. Nine millimeter rounds. What is her gunnery skill? It's Assault, which is obviously not my favorite. So I'm probably the thing that I'm most worried about is getting attacked by a Feral, to be completely honest. Let's repair. Oh, look at that. We have something. For, let's put it this, add this back in. Now, I may have been forgetting some of the restrictions, but I can't remember them all off the top of my head. All I know is that the essence of it was that I can't use Scent Block, I can't use Zombate, and I need to use, like, a really crappy revolver, and, like, we don't have the Devil at SP-1. That was a specific one he requested, but we do have this weapon. And this weapon is very, very similar to the Devil at SP-1. I'm gonna go ahead and repair up my vehicle. Call in... Cancel this. Build. Oops. Let's go ahead and reinstall that. 
Okay, those are all good. And we are going to activate this. Which means we should be able to put... These in the back. If it winds up that I violated some of the rules, uh, we'll consider this a practice run, just to see, like, if it can be done. I mean, I know it can be done. But let's just see how it goes. So, basically, the key is, since we're not going to be able to gas them, the thing is, like, we still can't, we, we can't just let them, like, headshot us. So we still need to rely on the zombies to... Help, uh, distract them. First, let's find out where they are bunkering down. Looks like they're in... this location here. Where would I want to shoot from is part of the question. There's, like, nowhere to shoot from that's safe. This is a metal fence, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, where would I want to shoot from? Hey, folks. Twain here. Talking with somebody wow, there's literally a plague art. I was thinking about going inside here, but now there's a play guard in there, jeez. Get off me. It's annoying that they want to go after me. I don't know. This stupid metal gate is, like, ruining everything. I want to, like, drive through there, but I can't. Alright, do I really want to shoot it out with them from this location here? I really feel like I don't. I really feel like I don't. Okay, let's, uh... First, we need to secure our side of the fort. <laughs> yeah, there's like no way I'd be able to headshot him from there. Oh my god, we we need a we need a community where I can fight from them from a neighboring building. Interesting that they all want to fight me. This is the good weapon for the job, though. gonna do this. Yeah, I don't think they can hit me from here. So what I want to do Fire in the hole. is throw one of the XL thingamajiggers. That ought to get their attention. The problem is there's just no cover anywhere. There's just no cover. Do we need to use the car as cover, I wonder? I, I'm, I'm seeing that, even though he's really far away, it seems like he's focusing, like, his... The angle of uh, his gun seems to be pointed at me. 
Hmm, I have an idea. This is a really bad idea. It's up there. What I what might do, maybe I should fight from behind their building. Let me see, is there a way for them to exit the building in the rear? I guess I could block it? Yes, they can come out from the rear. There's like no cover here whatsoever. How do we... It's like, this is just... Maybe this just isn't a good location. Because it's like, what I'm looking for is just... Some place that I can shoot at them from cover. But it's like... That, that's like hardly any cover there, and plus I can't drive through there in case I need to get out in an emergency. I was hoping there was something in the back with the rocks, but I just don't see anything. There's just no cover back here, like they would easily be able to shoot me. I feel like this might just be a bad location to attempt the challenge. That's really annoying. Because I do want to give it a try. I do want to try it, but it's like... It just doesn't seem like a realistic location. Can I climb up on top of these buildings? Oh, that sucks. I was hoping to be able to climb up on one of these buildings. Yeah, I just don't like this location. Like, I just cannot see a logical location to shoot from. So I'm going to... ...deal with these guys the old-fashioned way. Mr. Nosy over here. About to have, like, a group of Mr. Nosies. Okay. I know you guys probably want me to do it, like, oh, 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 oh you need to, like, do it, like, uh, like, a, like, a suicidal attack on them. Okay, you know, there's a difference between attempting a challenge and, like, just going out into the open and attempting a shootout when there's no cover at all. Like, that's just crazy talk. Where are my Zed Hunter items? Oh, yeah, they should be in here. I want to use the gas grenades. I think those will be fun. Let's get the scent block out and... Oh, I gotta make some scent block. Oh, wait, how much? Okay, I got 143. Make sure I'm not using up all my stuff real quick. Let's make some scent block. Let's make some zombate. Check these real quick. Those are fine. Where is it? There. We don't need all three. Bandages. And something in case a feral shows up. And I'll take one more roll of ammo. So yeah, I'll tell you, like, uh, I, I will try the challenge, but man, I'm going to do it at least on realistic, on a realistic battleground. Like that, I, I don't consider that to be a realistic battleground. Like, there's just no, there's just no good angle to attempt to engage these zombies.
Oh, I gotta run this guy over. He's crawling. What we can do is, I want to test to see if I can use my car for cover. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to use my car for cover, but... Oh my god! Leave me alone! God, look at all this bloater cloud, it's like, that's not even all me! Got him that time. Okay, so the last one is in the window. Was that a good hit? Nope, I didn't shoot high enough. That one was too high. Oh, I think that was a direct hit. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I can barely hear it, but those do not sound like the uh, the cries of uh, pleasure. Oh, that's right, I got assault. Let's just super soak that entire area. While I'm at it, I think I'm just going to burn this play guard as well. How would I get this job again? That's your left of mark. Hurting, don't let him down. Well, we're be enough. See that double dodge? Let's see if I can get him to do it again. One, two. There we go. Let's see what we got here. The M1A. More med we do need more medicine, especially because we just used some. Back scraps for a decent bit, so let's take that. And then let's go see uh, what our not so hostile anymore neighbors had. I mean, probably the big fat nothing, but might as well check. Okay, there's two of them. One of them, I'm pretty sure, died near that... Oh, wow, they all died in the... I guess, I guess he managed to stagger his way back inside. Painkillers. Oh, kind of want those, but... We don't, we don't really need them, but... I kind of want them. Smoke grenades. That's an interesting way to spell Chris. You see, these guys always have very ordinary weapons, like the PO7. This one didn't even have a gun. And then this one had a hunting rifle. So nothing too impressive. The problem is just, man, I just could not find any area that had co Even if we went into that seconds, it's... There, there's just nowhere to shoot at them from, that's the problem. Like, we need to find an, 
And maybe if I had climbed up that, I don't even think that would have given me a good angle on him because the second Zato shot would have been in the way. Let's bring this back to the base. Darn it. Crazy terrain. So somebody in the comments uh, mentioned that this base seems to get attacked by enemies a lot. It, do it does, it's true. It tends to get attacked by enemies a lot. Oops, I didn't mean to go fall down. Wow, I... Completely uh, went around that. I think we burned them successfully. Oh, they're lighting this guy up. Another juggernaut. Hit him one more time. Hit him one more time. Come on. Shoot him one more time. Okay. Oh, we're not getting any influence from this because of... Let's call in a traitor. Probably the fuel traitor. No, I've called in the ammo traitor. What we need? We actually need all of it. I'm here. Got the ammo you asked for. I bet he's not happy to be here right now during this giant attack. But you'd think that we would need this gigantic burial pit just to, like, burn all the bodies from all these zombies attacking. But do you not see that zombie right in front of you, Eric? What, what is this happening? Why is it... He's running in circles. He's, like, just face-to-face -face with the zombie. What What is going on here? See, this is why we came to Camp Kellenquil. Obviously, the... The pressure of living here in the zombie apocalypse is getting to some of these people. I, we, I was hoping that the refreshing spring air and the, the lake view would have a healing effect on my community members, but so far it doesn't seem to be effective. What have we got today? Yeah, sure. What are you selling? Kind of the same old stuff. I will buy the 50 yeah, cal ammo today? from them. Yeah, sure. Because I mean, we're, right now we just need to spend some influence. Supplies delivered. Go me. Let's get down to business. Okay. Kind of sucks. He's only selling two rucksacks. I just want to have a gun at the ready, in case I need to shoot something. And also I want to restore my... Blood Plague. And is this thing readied yet? I don't know when I'm going to need to reactivate that era, that garden. Or the farm, rather. Okay, I was wondering what he was screaming about, but it's... Ugh, oh, can't hit him. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. 
There we go. Let's get down to business. Let's see. Okay. Give me. Oh, we'll take this. We'll take that. And I can just use this for quick depositing. What are you? Why are there so many screamers? Jeez. Let's get down to business. Okay. So I guess I'll answer another community question. Sure, I guess so. One of the questions was, I need materials. How do I get more materials? Well, one of the ways is to do what I'm doing, and that's to use the trade depot, lets you call in stuff, so I could just go down here and go call traders. I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could call in a materials trader. We're good on materials, though. Just remember that in order to do that, you're going to need to have a trader as a leader, and you can see their leader type uh, under in their character panel. The other way to get materials is every area has kind of like an industrial district where there's like a ton of warehouses like these. And you're just going to want to look for the areas on the map that have just a ton of warehouses because that's where you're likely to find materials like this one. See, this one is potential resources, materials, potential resources, materials, potential resources, materials, materials. And uh, typically, each map has one or two locations. It, I mean, in addition to just materials being all over the place. Another good way to tell, unfortunately, I've taken these two. But these were incomplete buildings. Buildings that are under construction are always likely to have a lot of building materials in them. This is another warehouse area. Materials, 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 materials. Materials. See, if you oh, another materials. Materials. See, there's a, there's a ton of materials in the. If you know where to look, materials are the most common resource. Hey, don't blow it with these dudes. They like us. Let's see. Wandering trader. I guess we can see what they want. Someone wants food. Why not? We can see what they want. I'm willing to give them a chance. See if they've got any interesting skills. Let's go pull a food rucksack out. I should probably repair the car since it lost the door. But yeah, like, uh, materials are the most common of all the resources, and that's why I'm constantly turning them into parts, because you just get so many rucksacks of materials. Like, if I look in the back of my van, that's what all of these are. Six material rucksacks, and... Once you get the hang of where to look for them, you're gonna just have way more than you need, and you're just gonna be looking for a way to, like, get rid of them, basically. You know what, we're gonna need to refuel, so let's go ahead and call in another. And I don't know why I got out. I didn't need to get out for that. So we'll go see what this wandering trader wants. We'll give that other person some food, and that'll be the end of the episode. Sorry guys, I, uh, I know I should have attempted that. I don't know if I should have, but I know you guys would want to see me attempt that, but that was just not a smart attack. And, yeah, it's supposed to be a challenge, but... You can do a challenge without being stupid about it. And that attack, I just could not see a realistic angle. But, of course, we could threaten one of these enclaves, especially if... If we find one in a really convenient location, one where it's like we actually have like a realistic angle to shoot at them from. Can't do it. You guys need to like. What's my cat meowing about? What do you want, kitty butt? 
Normally you're quiet when I'm Hi doing there. this. Nice to meet you. I'm with the network. Maybe you've heard of us? White noise machine? I'll take another one. I don't know. I don't need another one, but I'll take another one. I think I want to buy these too. Hey there, business. I never doubted that plan for a second. Why do I want more white noise machines? You never know when you need more white noise machines. It's like one of the best mods right. in the game. Like a flat plus 10 morale per community member, that's amazing. Hey there, business partner. What else are you Find selling? Me? Nothing else, really. Plus, I just want to spend my influence as well. I mean, what what are we down to? Seven seventy five hundred. That's still a ton. They want food. Let's go refuel. Why would there only be two? You'd think there'd be a third one. A third one is what makes a horde. Oh, I guess only two. A juggernaut? We could blow him up. Where is he? There he is. Car. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Get rid of this guy. I don't want to. Maybe I'll just shoot him up. Actually. You'll see that you really don't need to shoot him in the head. To be honest. get to blow him up, but, uh... I actually, uh... Let's make this that was very similar to the Echo S4 test in, uh, in my Heartland, or in my Echo series review. This weapon feels very similar to it. And in the Heartland review, yeah, it just vaporized that Juggernaut much in the same way, like... Like we just now gone... Like we just went through him just then and there. I wonder if I can get these guys. Okay. Let's shoot one of them to kind of get their attention. When you see the smoke, it means I'm waiting for the artillery. Oh my gosh, stay still. Okay. Yay! Yeah, got them both. Got them both. That's more like it. How many juggernauts have we killed in this episode? Holy crap. About these infestations, time to do something? So if you did understand why I shot that one zombie next to him, the death of a zombie when their head explodes, that creates a little bit of a noise, and so I'm like, here's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to shoot one of them to basically create a firecracker style distraction to get them to cluster up together and then hopefully my aim would be accurate enough to get the uh, the smoke grenade, the signal grenade onto the location and then if I, if I was accurate enough then blow all of them up and, and we just did, we blew all of them up. That was very nice. But it's not it's not the perfect juggernaut horde breaking because basically is that the horde breaker is that like a way to kill the juggernaut obviously the answer is yes it's not perfect though because it does take a little bit of a setup and there is a little bit of randomness to it depending on if the juggernauts wander around or something but it does seem like it could be the horde breaker just because one, you saw it. It just completely annihilated that horde. But two... I, I don't know how consistent it is. Oh, we need to get the food from the rug back of the vehicle. How's it going? Let's see what skills you guys got. Hello. Surgery, we already have a surgeon. See ya. What do you got? Cooking, we don't need someone who can cook. And I can't see your skill unless I can. I'll give you the food just so I can see your skill. Watch yourself. Gardening, so we don't need any of these guys. Hang out for a bit. Are these guys a potential candidate for the challenge? Is there a realistic shooting position nearby? Let's see what's in the back of this trunk. Machete, yeah. Take it. I don't really like this area either. I would like to see... I would like to have a shootout where two residential buildings are kind of looking at each other so that I could actually have windows and, and wall. Basically, what I want is... If I get shot and I go into, like, the fight for your life down state... What I want is to fall down and crumple up with the wall then protecting me. Because that's what would happen if I was in, like, a residential building. Yes, I would fall down, and then, like, I wouldn't be able to be shot anymore. That's kind of the, that's kind of the situation I want to attempt the challenge on. So at least on the other hand, though, I did get to try out the artillery strike, and so far we've had one great- we've had one kind of halfway success where we killed one of the juggernauts, and we damaged the other one. Damaged it noticeably, I mean... I think it took two hits, so it took two staggers to completely remove it. And then the second- uh, this one, though, was a complete success. It destroyed the entire juggernaut horde, with the exception of a- you know, like, it- Actually, it just destroyed the whole horde, because if one of the stragglers had detected me... Oh, what am I doing? This isn't the base. But it's in the direction of the base, so... Because what would have happened then would... If I had shot... Or if I had, uh... If they had discovered me... It would have alerted the entire horde, so... Aside from that one guy I shot, I'm pretty sure it just wiped out that entire horde. I mean, the zombies, they're just gonna get immediately destroyed by the artillery, so that's, that's completely normal. I wonder if I, I have a- I might make that into the thumbnail of the video, depending on if I actually get, like, a good screenshot of it. And like I said, man, we killed a ton of, uh, plague juggernauts in this episode. Point is like kind of like kind of emphasis on kind of he's kind of the state of decay three dog I mean he doesn't have the same charisma as three dog but he's like he, he kind of I think of three dog when I think of uh, Twain let me in jeez Tori, you're not even a member of this community. 
Like, we gotta clear out these playgirls. You don't even- you're, you're just, like, here to sell things. So I'm just gonna log out with her. Since, uh, we, we actually got a decent bit done today. So we're kind of ups and downs, so, you know, we did deal with those... The nosy guys here in the Jolly Collie Tavern. We removed the Plague Art at seconds. Ton of- killed a ton of, uh, Juggernauts. A huge amount of Juggernauts. We were able to successfully make use of the artillery strike from the abandoned military post. And, uh, you know, we're still searching for opportunities to attempt the... some of these challenges. Oh, we also tried out some of the melee weapons. I think I said I think I'm onto something. I'm pretty sure I th I think it's impact. I think impact is the dominant stat for a melee weapon to kill a play guard. At any rate, that's the end of this episode. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State K2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.